In this video, I'm gonna show you how I ran power from the house out to my back shed. Just inside here in the house is my circuit panel. And what I did was you have to drill about a two inch diameter hole inside your house. And that's where this junction box is gonna go into the house. If I remove the cover, uh, you'll see the hole right there. And this is the wire and the ethernet that I ran out to the shed. So I have one 12 gauge wire going out to the air conditioner. The other 12 gauge wire is going out to run all the lights and the outlets. You want to use one of these outlet boxes so you don't have such a big long radius coming out of the side of your house. But if you take a look, it just drops all the way down and then I hand dug a trench alongside the house. I'll finish covering this up with dirt in here in a little while. And then that pipe goes up right there, goes underneath the deck. And there's no reason to bury it underneath the deck because nothing's going to get to it. I'll replace the lattice on the end of the deck and you'll never see it. And then I'll show you how I buried it out in the yard. So to get your wire and conduit buried in the ground, I just rented a sod cutter and cut one long strip of sod. And then I cut the sod up into about five foot sections. I rolled it up into the wheelbarrow. And then I'll just roll the sod right back over top of the conduit. If you look over there to that shed back there in the corner, that's the same thing that I did to that shed about two years ago. And you can't tell in the yard where that electrical and conduit is buried. I ran the conduit all along here. It goes alongside the shed and I'll show you where it enters into the back of the shed. One thing you're going to check is the local codes in your area. On my code I can actually just bury the underground cable and not even run it through conduit as long as it's six inches deep. But for me, I think that's just kind of a, a cheap and lazy way to do it. So I ran all mine inside this conduit. Now, one thing I learned from when doing the other shed, I didn't start at one end and pull and push all the wire through. I started in the middle, worked my way to the shed, and then I started at the middle and worked my way to the house. Uh, it's too hard to push and pull about 140 feet of electric wire through all that conduit. And then once again ran the conduit right along the side of the shed and entered into the shed right there using the same junction box. As you can see those 90 degree elbows, if you take a look right there, uh, it's, it's a really big sweeping elbow. So if you use those out of the side of your shed or your house, it's going to make the pipe stick way out of the side of your house. So I use those tight 90 degree junction boxes. So right down here that electric wire comes into the wall. And the one wire is dedicated to this switch right here, which is going to run the air conditioner. And the other wire is running all the outlets. The ethernet cable goes through the wall. It's going to come out over here on this side, and that's going to plug into the TV. Another important tip I can give you is take a piece of paper and draw a map for if, however you run your electric wire across your yard, whether it's off the corner of a deck or about where it is placed. Keep that into a file folder. Because you never know what the next homeowner might want to know where that wire is. Or 15 years later, if you need to change something or, or do something, you know right where that wire is. You can pull that piece of paper out of your folder and know exactly where you buried that wire 15 years ago. Check your local codes. Mine only requires to be 8 inches deep and it doesn't even require to be in the PVC. But I went ahead and did a little extra. Using the sod cutter. Uh, really helps out a lot. You can lay the sod right back over the pipe when you're all done. You're going to have to water it quite a bit. And then you're never going to be able to tell that you buried that pipe in there after a couple weeks. Hope this video was helpful and informational. And thanks for watching.